Hello, teacher. Eileen, good morning. Good morning, Lynn. Okay, how are you? Oh, thank you. Okay, so today we're gonna have Unit 5B. Okay, no, no, 5C for elementary solution. We're gonna have elementary solution today. Okay, Lynn? Okay. How are you today? You don't have to go to school because today is uh Sunday, right? No class. Yeah. You're relaxed today. Okay. So we have here. Okay, listening town or country. So Lynn, before anything else, what can you say about town? What is town, Lynn? Oh, it's uh, more than more than a country. Okay, more than a country. So and in the country. Yeah, in the country. So what do you think? Okay, country. That's another terms for country like Philippines, Vietnam, but that is actually countryside. So when you say town, town is busier than. And countryside. Okay, right? So which do you like? Town or countryside? Uh, I like town. You like? Uh, you like town? So here we have um, this one. So we have different... Words, vocabulary. So before that, I will introduce some vocabulary for you. We have... Crowd. Crowd, okay. So it is a particular group of people, like group of people, like your classmates and your friends. We went to the mall. They are crowd. Oh, that place is crowded. So it means there are many people in that place. So next, this is... Hill. Okay, do you understand what is hill? Do you understand this word, Lynn? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. So this one, it's a mountain, a high mountain. That's a hill. Next one, we've got... Office block. Office block. It's a large building that contains offices, usually belonging to more than one company. Okay, so we call it as, okay, usually office block, one block for the office. Okay, another we have the word, valley, it's an area of lowland and between hills or mountains, it's open with a river flowing through it. So it is valley. Okay, next we've got. Wood. Okay, you know this? Wood. Have you learned? Yes. Yeah, when you see wood, that is? Wood it is? Okay, it is from the trees. You cut it. Uh, what they call this one. The table is made of wood. Chair is made of wood. Like that. So next one, we have the word. Village. It's a very small town located in a country area. So when you see village, it is a very small town located in a country area. That's village. Okay, so here. Now we have here, Lynn. Okay, divide the words below into town and country. Town and country, crowd, farm, field, hill, lake, office, block, shopping, center, street, tropic, valley, and village wood. So that is what we called us town and country. So can you please divide the words here? So, <coughs> excuse me. So here in the town, can you put the words under its proper place? Okay, can you do it, Lynn? Yes. Yes, go.
Eileen, where are your answers?
Okay, so town you have grow office block shopping center street traffic. Yes, farm. Yes, field, field, lake, valley, village, wood. Yeah, exactly. So these are the places that we can found in the town. And these are also the places that we can found in the town center. So that one. Okay, so describe the photo below. Which of the thing in test one can you see? Okay. If you were gonna look at here, uh me Aline, this first photo is course the countryside. The second is the town. So you can see that. Can you please describe the photo in uh picture one? Picture one, can you please describe picture one? Uh, the, the countryside is the countryside is more, more peaceful, relaxed. Okay. Um, and some hill and some hill. Yes. The perfect at the street in in the countryside is yeah, is really nice. Okay, so you can see in the countryside, this is quite, okay, this place is quite okay. So countryside's place is really good. You can see that one, it's fresh, it's quiet, it's peaceful. In the, uh, in the town, you can see that it is quite busy okay there's a lot of noise smalls like that but of course town is different from city when you mentioned in my country city is a very town is not not so busy but when you mention city is it uh, it is a very busy place so that's why <coughs> okay so here now lean can you please complete the text with the comparative adjectives below. What are the advantages of living in the country?
Okay, I'm finished. Yes, okay. Let me see. Okay. Number one. Okay, it is safer because there is less crime, of course. When you live in the countryside, it is quite safer. Okay. Because there is less crime. Okay, there isn't much traffic, so it is quite there of course if you live in the countryside it's very different okay people are what okay and the air of course if it doesn't have much traffic clean of course the air is clean and people are what friendlier okay it is what easier to be active to walk and get fresh air. Okay, correct. Number six, please continue. We choose what are the advantages again again in living in the city.
<laughs> okay, let me see your answers, teacher. Okay, number six, it is O. Yes, easier to travel around because there are lots of buses and trams. Yeah, correct. So when you're living in the city, then yeah. it is not hard for you to find buses. It is not hard, for example, yeah. you don't have a car. So it is not hard for you to find transportation because you have uh what they call that one you have uh, a very nice access with transportation you don't always need a car yes exactly there is more to do cinema concert museum theater etc it's a more exciting so eight there are lots of restaurants the food is better and more interesting. Nine, there are lots of shops and they are eager. So there is more choice. Yeah, there are a lot of shops and they are bigger. So there is more choice. Okay, correct. Yeah, very good. So sometimes it isn't necessary to understand all of the details when you listen as long as you understand the main ideas. In these cases, focus on what you need to know and do not worry if you do not understand every word. Okay, so here, you listen, learn, and choose the correct answer. Do not worry if you don't understand everything. Lesson 5C, Exercise 4. 1. So, here we are in London. There are lots of things to see, and you can find all the information you need about them in the packs that I handed out earlier. You've got three hours now to explore. Please... OK, wait me. Back. One. So, here we are in London. There are lots of things to see, and you can find all the information you need about them in the packs that I handed out earlier. You've got three hours now to explore. Please be back on the coach by 12 so that we can drive to the restaurant for lunch at 1. You can leave anything that you don't need on the coach. The driver always locks the doors so no one can get in. Now, any questions before I let you go? Two. The train is very crowded, isn't it? Yes, but at least we've got seats. Yes, that's true. It's usually impossible to get a seat in the rush hour. I often have to stand. So, let's relax and have some food. But there isn't any food. They haven't got any more sandwiches in the buffet car, so we can't get anything to eat. I'm really hungry. Well, there's a cafe at the station. We can eat there when we arrive. No, the station cafe is closed now. But it doesn't matter. 
We can eat at home. I don't mind cooking. 3. Excuse me, where's the castle? It's at the top of the hill. Would you recommend it? Definitely. There are lovely views from the top. But it's quite a difficult climb. It takes nearly an hour from here. Uh, well, that's OK. It's only midday. And you have to be careful in this rain. Really? Yes. When the path is wet, it can be dangerous. A lot of people fall and hurt themselves. Oh. Well, maybe I'll go to the museum instead. Where's that? It's over there. Four. There are houses for sale in both villages. The villages are quite similar, but South Milton is bigger than Upton. Upton, however, is quite a bit more expensive. Both villages are very pretty and are lovely places to live, but there is one house which I think you would really like in Upton. It costs £200,000, which is really cheap. The owners want to move quickly, so why don't you make an offer? You won't regret it. Peter, can I listen again? OK. Lesson 5C. Exercise 4. 1. So, here we are in London. There are lots of things to see, and you can find all the information you need about them in the packs that I handed out earlier. You've got three hours now to explore. Please be back on the coach by 12 so that we can drive to the restaurant for lunch at 1. You can leave anything that you don't need on the coach. The driver always locks the doors so no one can get in. Now, any questions before I let you go? 2. The train is very crowded, isn't it? Yes, but at least we've got seats. Yes, that's true. It's usually impossible to get a seat in the rush hour. I often have to stand. So, let's relax and have some food. But there isn't any food. They haven't got any more sandwiches in the buffet car, so we can't get anything to eat. I'm really hungry. Well, there's a cafe at the station. We can eat there when we arrive. No, the station cafe is closed now. But it doesn't matter. We can eat at home. I don't mind cooking. 3. Excuse me, where's the castle? It's at the top of the hill. Would you recommend it? Definitely. There are lovely views from the top, but it's quite a difficult climb. It takes nearly an hour from here. Wow. Well, that's OK. It's only midday. And you have to be careful in this rain. Really? Yes. When the path is wet, it can be dangerous. A lot of people fall and hurt themselves. Oh. Well, maybe I'll go to the museum instead. Where's that? It's over there. 4. There are houses for sale in both villages. The villages are quite similar, but South Milton is bigger than Upton. Upton, however, is quite a bit more expensive. Both villages are very pretty and are lovely places to live. But there is one house which I think you would really like in Upton. 
It costs two hundred thousand pounds, which is really cheap. The owners want to move quickly, so why don't you make an offer? You won't regret it. So we have here, what is the speaker talking about? The speaker is talking about the arrangement for the morning. And two, where are the men and the woman going to eat? Where? They're going to eat at their house. Very good, Lynn. Why does the tourist decide not to visit the castle? Letter A, because the path isn't safe so that is why the tourists decided not to visit the castle anymore and four the speaker's main aim is to what to recommend a house that is for sale okay very good yay great job Lynn. okay so here Lynn. So now here you listen and match the speakers this is the last activity okay you listen and match the speakers with the sentences A to E. There is one extra sentence. Remember not to worry if you don't understand every word they say. Lesson 5C. Exercise 5. 1. I love it here. You can walk in the woods along the river near my village. An advantage of living in the country is that the people are much friendlier and there's less crime. We don't even lock the car at night. And we often leave the house unlocked when we are out during the day. I think people should move out of the cities and find a better life in the country. Two. Why are so many people moving out of cities to find a new life in the country? Is it because life is so much easier in the country than in the town? Because it's quieter and less stressful and houses are much cheaper? Or are there other reasons? Listen to In the Country tonight at 8 when we interview people who are thinking of moving and ask them why. 3. It's really lovely where I live. It's very pretty, and there are trees and a hill just behind my house. If you like a quiet life, it's a really great place to live. But one disadvantage is that life is a bit boring here. There isn't much going on in the village, and there aren't many young people around. So I often go into the city at weekends with my friends. It isn't far, and there's always something to do there. One day, I'd like to move away from here. 4. There's lots to do, of course, much more than in the country. It's good that you can go to the cinema and theatre, and there are lots of shops. But, to be honest, I hardly ever go to the cinema or theatre. I prefer watching DVDs at home. And I hate shopping. What I really hate about the town is that it's very busy, very noisy, and quite dirty. I'd rather live somewhere cleaner and more peaceful. Just much, please. Okay, you put what speaker talk about letter A. Okay, you want to listen again? You tell me. So this is the yes. last activity. Listen again? Yes. Okay. Lesson 5C. Exercise 5. 1. I love it here. You can walk in the woods along the river near my village. An advantage of living in the country is that the people 
are much friendlier, and there's less crime. We don't even lock the car at night, and we often leave the house unlocked when we are out during the day. I think people should move out of the cities and find a better life in the country. Two. Why are so many people moving out of cities to find a new life in the country? Is it because life is so much easier in the country than in the town? Because it's quieter and less stressful, and houses are much cheaper? Or are there other reasons? Listen to In the Country tonight at eight, when we interview people who are thinking of moving and ask them why. Three. It's really lovely where I live. It's very pretty, and there are trees and a hill just behind my house. If you like a quiet life, it's a really great place to live. But one disadvantage is that life is a bit boring here. There isn't much going on in the village, and there aren't many young people around. So I often go into the city at weekends with my friends. It isn't far, and there's always something to do there. One day, I'd like to move away from here. Four. There's lots to do, of course, much more than in the country. It's good that you can go to the cinema and theatre, and there are lots of shops. But to be honest, I hardly ever go to the cinema or theatre. I prefer watching DVDs at home, and I hate shopping. What I really hate about the town is that it's very busy, very noisy, and quite dirty. I'd rather live somewhere cleaner and more peaceful. Is your finished? Okay, so number four, letter A. Okay, number one, correct. Two, very good. Speaker two, talk about advertising a radio program. Speaker one, encouraging people to come and live in the country. Oh, very good, Lynn. Speaker three, complains that there isn't much to do where he or she lives and... Wow, perfect, Lynn. Speaker 4, explain why he or she doesn't like life in the town. Wow, very good. Okay, great job, Lynn, for today. So, Lynn, I will see you. Thank you so much for today. Okay, I will see you on, okay, Tuesday. Tuesday, right, Lynn? Yes. Yeah, I will see you on Tuesday again at 9 p.m., okay? Okay. Yeah, thank you, Lynn. Goodbye. Thank you, Tito. Yeah, welcome.